Hi everyone, it's David from Arizona Science Center. I hope you all are having a fantastic uh, day so far. I'm having a great day and I'm really excited uh, to share this science with you. Today what we are going to be going over are dry ice comets. But first we have to talk about comets. So comets, or maybe you have heard them be called dirty snowballs or icy dirt balls, are some of the oldest objects in our solar system. They were actually formed at the time that the Earth was formed as well. Uh, so that means that they're about 4.6 billion years old. And they would be the leftovers after all the planets uh, started forming together, uh, even maybe some of the asteroids in the asteroid belt. Uh, so it's really awesome, it's really cool, and I hope that you're going to enjoy this demonstration. Now comets are very interesting. Because if you may have seen in our description, those bright streaks that flash across our night sky usually come from comets, or should I say, the debris or the remnants of a comet's path. So let's say that the Earth is here, the Sun is here, and as the Earth is going around the Sun, there's going to come a point where it's going to cross paths with other stuff. And that's going to be where the comets come in. So comets come all the way out from here outside, almost outside of our solar system, and they have this really long oval-shaped orbit, and as they get closer to the sun, they get closer and closer, they start speeding up, and then they also start heating up, and when they start heating up, instead of going from a solid to a liquid, like we normally see with ice, for example, water ice, uh, it's going to instead go from a solid to a gas, and it's going to start degassing, it's going to be explosive, it's going to shoot stuff off of the comet, and it's going to be left there in outer space. So once it makes that really quick orbit and trajectory path off back to the outer solar system, what's left is all that stuff that heated up, degassed, and it exploded off of the comet. And that's what the Earth crosses when we are orbiting the sun, which means when that stuff gets into our atmosphere, that's what's going to make it streak across our night sky because it's going to heat up again into a bright, brilliant flash, and you're going to see it in our night sky, kind of like a shooting star. So I know what you're thinking right now, David, why do you have all this stuff here? Well, this is everything that I need in order to recreate a comet here on Earth today. So first things first, I have my PPE, personal protective equipment, I have my lab coat, I have my gloves, and I have my safety glasses right here. And I have some other things as well. I have dirt, water, uh, corn syrup, ammonia, and the main piece, dry ice, but that's the last piece that we're going to add in. So first, what we're gonna do, is I already measured out two cups of water right in here. We're gonna put it into our mixing bowl. Our mixing bowl is lined with a trash bag and you'll see why in a moment. So let's pour this in. All right. Now what we need is a little bit of dirt because remember, these comets are known as dirty snowballs or icy dirt balls. So we'll put that in here. And maybe just a little bit more. Awesome. Now, the other uh, component that we're gonna throw in is ammonia. Most comets have a little bit of ammonia inside of them. So, to show you that, to model that, we're gonna put just a dash of ammonia into our mixture. And another piece that we have is corn syrup. Now, corn syrup is going to represent our organic matter or organic molecules that are in comets. That's actually a fairly recent discovery that we made. I believe it was in about 2017 when we were looking at one comet in particular and we found large organic molecules. Uh, it, it was really cool, it was really interesting, uh, and this is going to represent that organic matter. So again, we'll put just a little bit in here, maybe two spoonfuls. Awesome. So now that we have all this into our mixture and our mixing bowl, let me show you what it looks like right now. I don't know if you can get the best picture, and I don't want to tip over the mixture as well, but you can see it's uh, quite a lot 
that we have in our mixing bowl. So now we need to mix it all together to make sure it's nice and even and spread out in our mixture. So I just have this large spoon right here. I'm just mixing it all together, making sure that there are no clumps in our mixture. Awesome, that should do for now. All right, now, this is a really fun part. What I have here is dry ice. Now, one quick note about dry ice. Please, please, please do not handle this on your own. Uh, this is extremely cold. It is not like regular ice. Uh, dry ice is made from carbon dioxide, and it has a freezing point that is much lower than regular ice that you use in your water or other drinks that you ingest. So, this is a solid block of dry ice, and what I need to do is break it up to throw into our mixture. So, what you saw is I had just a regular uh, uh, cloth towel here. I just put it over to not damage anything, and then I have this hammer, and I'm literally going to break up the ice with the hammer. I think that was the table that time. <laughs> okay, and make sure not to hit your hand as well because that's gonna be a bad day for everybody. So, now that I think that that's fairly broken up, yeah, that looks great, awesome. So I'm gonna take two cups now of dry ice and throw it into our mixture. And remember what I said about dry ice, it's a lot colder than water. So once I add it to the water, you're going to see it start uh, bubbling over and gas going everywhere. It's going to look really cool. But I need to put two cups in. So watch what happens when I put just the first cup in. Like I said, it starts flowing over. It's a really cool visual that we have here. But I'm not done yet. I need to throw in one more cup. All right. And that's about one cup. And I don't know if you can hear it from there, but it's bubbling, it's oozing, it looks like a, a cauldron from a Halloween show. But I need to mix this all together because this is a very important part. Once this starts going into the water as it is now, it's going to start freezing everything. So I need to mix everything up to make sure that everything is getting frozen all at the same time. And if you do ever do this, or I can just explain it now, uh, while I am mixing it, I'm trying to mix it into a uh, snowball shape because that's gonna be what our comet is going to have to look like and represent once we start forming it with our hands. Okay, so it's starting to get fairly frozen now. So again, this is another very important part that we have to do. I'm going to set this down, and then the reason why we have our mixing bowl lined with this bag is so I can grab the bag and actually form this snowball with my own hands. Now you have to be careful because you don't want to hold it for too long because again, it is very cold. So if you can see me, I'm just trying to press and form it into a snowball while still moving my hands away from it at the same time so that I don't get a freeze burn. Okay, so now that I think that that's all done, let's put it on the plate and see what it looks like. Awesome. And that would be our comment right here, our dirty snowball. I'm gonna come over there and give you a close up and I'm not going to talk right now because if you can hear it, it's starting to just degas. That's going to be our snowball right here. And you can see the dirt right here. You can see some water, ammonia, that corn syrup. Again, all this is going to be representative of a dirty snowball, an icy dirt ball, or a comet. Now, what I did ahead of time, I'm going to put this back on the table. Here, I'll put it right here so you can get a better view of it. Perfect. What I did ahead of time was actually make another comment. 
So you can see what it looks like about 20 minutes after I formed it. So you can see right here, there's some other ice that's forming. Uh, you can actually, if you can see in the tin, there's water uh, that's starting because it's starting to melt. So you can actually see uh, the water here in the tin. But you can also start seeing some holes that are in our comet as well. Now, again, when our comet gets, uh, when it's heated up by the sun, it's not going to go from a solid to a liquid. It's going to go from a solid to a gas. That's called sublimation, where it just skips a liquid. It says, no way, I'm done right now. It's way too hot. And it's just going to go straight to a gas. And when that happens in comets, it leaves holes behind. So you can actually see holes in our comet that are starting to form. Now, over time, hundreds and hundreds of years uh, in the future, when these comets that are in outer space that are orbiting our sun, uh, orbit our sun a number of times, eventually all the ice is going to disappear. And what you're going to be left with is just the dirt and the rock and just a barren comet uh, with no more ice on it. So when it passes the sun on its orbit, it's not going to degas, it's not going to release anything because all that's going to be left is rock. So it's just gonna get heat up, it's gonna get really hot, and then it's going uh, to just pass back into the outer solar system where it's gonna cool down again. Awesome, and if you could still see the one that we just made, you can still hear it bubbling, oozing out. Maybe we could get a close up over here. Awesome, you can actually see a little hole right there too. Where is it? Right there, that's starting to form as well. So, what did we learn today? We learned that comets have dirt, water, ice, ammonia, even some organic matter, and maybe not all comets, but in some comets. We know that they are incredibly cold, that they have a very long orbit, or an oval-shaped orbit, like an egg, for example. So when it's all the way out in our outer solar system, it's really cold. But as it gets closer to the sun, it heats up, it starts uh, exploding and degassing, leaving parts of the comet behind. So when the Earth orbits the sun, and when it goes around and crosses paths with that debris, it's gonna create some meteor showers that we see today. Anyways, I hope that you had a great time. Again, this is David here from Arizona Science Center. If you want to see more content just like this, check out our social media, Instagram, Facebook, our azscience.org website where we have a lot of great resources for everyone. And I hope that you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. See ya.